Good morning everyone and welcome to tour of the house. Today we're gonna look at my house and why are we doing it from the outside because my mom is gone and she didn't leave me a key. I would just be standing here like this and I'd say let me in please so I'm in the garage but my my MacBook on my lap over there is the door I can't get in you have like buckets of paint have my mom's motorcycle because she's like a biker chick this is my sister's bike uh, let's see what else we have like garden hoses and rakes and uh, yeah garage stuff okay we got some horns from like a deer or a moose elk um, various cans of oil and some gloves and some tools could probably use to break into the house later we're about to enter the hallway but we can't because it's locked and I don't have a key doormat and look no key! There's no key any other possible place where we usually leave our key. Like, I'm not gonna tell you where we leave our key in case you break in. But it's not there, that's the point. Behind this door, there's another door, and then there's the hallway. And if you're standing the hallway, let's just start. Let's just start by sort of going right. I'm sure this makes perfect sense in your mind. If we go right, after we enter the hallway, make a U-turn, we enter my sister's room, which once upon a time used to be my room. But I moved out, so she got the bigger room, which makes total sense. So, uh, we can see, sort of see, a stack of CDs and, a, and the reflection of the garage. And some ladders. Cool. Let's see if we can uh, vaguely see a bookshelf back there. And over there somewhere is like an organ, which is pretty much never used. Uh, I'm sure there are a bunch of toys that you can't see in here. Uh, anyway, that's my sister's room. Okay, so if we if we then imagine walking out of my sister's room again and take a take right again, we pass a closet which has it has buckets cleaning products. It's cold. All right, so that would be my sister's room, and then we're going right. Passing the closet and we enter my mom's room, which is here. And also, you notice that we're in the middle of painting the house. It used to be this color, now it's gonna be white. Boring, boring white. Alright, so my mom's room, we can't see anything because there's a mosquito net in front of uh, the window. So you can just see green, basically. But it's a double bed, and it's uh, lots and lots and lots and lots of closets. Okay, uh, going out of my mom's room, we, again, keep to the right, but we're walking, like, this direction now. And that would be my room. Or at least it's my room when I'm here. It's sort of a guest room slash my room. This summer, it's my room. At Christmas, it's my room. Easter, it's my room again. And... Yeah. But we can't see anything, because curtains... This tour is pretty pointless, I must say. Okay, walking through the hallway again, we're passing the bathroom, which is probably where we're gonna end up with since we're going right all the time, but we pass the bathroom door on our left, and we go right, 
and we enter the living room, which is the biggest room of the house. And I, oh, I can't believe how pointless this is. Well, I was really hoping that we could actually see in through the windows just a little bit so there would actually be a point of me making this video instead of me just looking like an ass which I am now doing anyway okay so if we can't see anything through here we can barely see the kitchen window in there and if you could see anything at all you would see a huge cupboard which my mom made, and you'd see like the dining room table and all the chairs, which my mom made. And in the corner would be my mom's computer, which she didn't make. And over here would be like a couch, TV, and bookshelf that my mom made. Mom didn't make the TV and the, and the couch, she made the bookshelf. Which was the last thing I said in that sentence. She didn't make all those other things, she made the bookshelf. Ugh. Okay, and then there's a shelf of like a bunch of DVDs and CDs and a bunch of plants and candles and, and stuff. Since we're in sort of like, yeah, in the living room, we'll just go right and walk, imagine ourselves walking out this door, which is also perfectly locked, of course, so I can't enter it that way either. But we'll exit through that door and voila, it is our lawn and our porch. And we have a bunch of plants. This is our barbecue. My mom made it out of like an oil drum and some yeah, other metal items, uh, lawn furniture. There was another chair over there, but it's in the garage now. Our trampoline, more plants. This is our view. Over there is like the pile of of stones that they call a mountain, like a skiing resort and stuff like that. A lot of Germans, a lot of Swedish, Danish families, and uh, some British people too in the winter. Enter the house again and go into the kitchen. We've walked through the living room and we've entered the kitchen, which we can barely see through curtains. Well, we can't even see that. Well, we can see the living room now. <laughs> uh, yeah, sort of. Uh, can't really see much. It's just window stuff. Next to the kitchen is another room where we just keep a lot of stuff. It's our keep stuff in one place room. Again, we can't see anything because it's covered up. Probably because my mom's gone and she doesn't want burglar people to look in and see what they can steal. And keeping our son from videotaping everything for all of you guys to see so that you guys would know what to steal if you want to come and rob us. Which wouldn't be very nice and I'd be kicking you in the shins. I'm crazy, man. I'd do anything, except, no, I'd do anything. As promised, the last room of the house would be the bathroom, so you probably can't see much there either. Uh, no. See your reflections, you'd see various products, because right Right beneath this window is our bathtub. We can't see much more, but there is a sink. There is a toilet. There is washing machine. And uh, all kinds of woman stuff that my mom owns, which I don't really know much about because I'm not a woman. And we're back in the garage, and I'm gonna sit down, and I'm gonna edit this thing so I have something to do for the next two days when my mom gets back. Not that it's gonna take two days for me to edit this thing, because it's really short. But I'm gonna do it anyway, and then I'll find something else to do for the next two days. I'm cold!